jump in uh, growth since the release and that seems to be sustainable uh, so far. We've only been three and a half months on um, the mainnet with this, this particular release. Um, and you can see here that um, the growth numbers for a number of funds have gone up, you know, with a big jump in February to March up 37%, up 9.9, up 9.4 investments. The number of investments has been uh, growing quite strongly. And very, very notably, uh, and something we're very excited about, AUM inflows in terms of ETH terms has started to show um, some big tick ups as well. So in the beginning, we only saw two, you know, February, March, March, April, uh, we saw mild increases. Um, for the month, April, May, we saw a 50.6% increase. And uh, this uh, pink column, it's uh, it's not very accurate data because it's uh, it's not the end of the month and it was taken last night, uh, including pending investment requests. Some of them were not executed, but you can see that tracking for May June, we have a 40.5% uh, AUM increase, and this is all in ETH terms. So, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is another lightning edition. Today we're going to be covering Melon. If you guys are interested in learning more about Melon after this video, and you guys wanted to chat with me and my community directly, I highly recommend that you guys click the link in the description below to access my Discord channel. Also, consider checking out my newsletter. I cover DeFi news, new token picks and much, much more. All you need to do to sign up for that newsletter is click the link in the description below, enter your email address, and you'll be all set to receive my emails. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this video. To kickstart this video, let me give you guys some context to what led to the creation of this project. Mona was working at Goldman Sachs where she was a very successful hedge fund manager. She was so successful that she got recommendations and through those recommendations she got clients that wanted her to start her own fund independently of Goldman Sachs. While she was doing that, she realized quickly how cumbersome the administrative process was. She ended up spending more time on the legal side, on the administrative side, than she did on actually managing the fund. This led to her failing, and while she was reflecting on her failure, she came up with the idea to start Mellon. She organized an ICO and she raised about $3 million. And since the ICO, her and her team have constructed an Ethereum-based protocol for decentralized on-chain asset management. People like me and you have a low barrier to entry when it comes to managing other people's money. All the administrative stuff and the legal stuff is going to be handled by smart contract. And out of all the DeFi protocols, it's actually the first DeFi protocol to fully decentralize. They currently have this technocratic council composed of individuals from a variety of backgrounds. This council is responsible for a deployment of protocol upgrades. They also manage the subdomains pointing to the Mellon smart contracts. They conduct research around resource allocation to development teams, and they also are responsible for adjusting network parameters. The council itself has two subsets, the MTC, the Mellon Technical Council, and the MEB, the Mellon Exposed Business. It's essentially this multidisciplinary team consisting of developers and financiers. The council was curated by the Mellon Port team. However, they're eventually going to hold a vote to make the entire process more democratic. This way, the community that owns the tokens will decide who ends up on the council. The Mellon front end interface is live. You can go ahead and start an account. You can go ahead and start a fund and you can also invest in funds that are open. And by the way, if you guys are interested in joining a fund that I potentially may make in the future, please express your interest in the comment section below. If there's enough interest expressed, I may be motivated to eventually start one of my own funds. And if and when I do, I'll make a public announcement on one of my social media channels. Moving along, the key takeaway from tokenomics, or what Mellon refers to as Mellonomics, is that their goal is to tie the value of the token to the activity on the network. In other words, as the activity on the network increases, so will the price. For the most part, the token is deflationary. However, approximately 300,000 Mellon tokens can be minted and distributed at the council's discretion to individuals or to groups or parties that are going to build products or add value to the entire network in, in one form or another. But when it comes to activities that require individuals uh, to spend their Mellon tokens, for example, the following activities require spending of Mellon tokens, setting up a fund, investing in a fund, or when fund managers want to claim any fees that are that are paid to them by investors. And even in instances where people may pay in a different currency, everything eventually gets converted over to Mellon and it gets burned. 
The only thing that parties don't pay fees for is for trading and redemptions and they do this to keep the barrier to entry low. And the council is always working to make that correlation stronger and consequently they're always thinking about adjusting parameters that would result in the price of the token going up as the activity on the platform increases. I'm very impressed with the project. I especially like the founder. She took about $3 million and she created all of this while there's other teams that took a lot more and they haven't even created a working product to date. I think it tells you a lot about her work ethic. And I told you guys earlier in the video that she networks very effectively. She's talking to other leaders and other teams. For example, in the interview that I watched with Blockchain Brad, it became very evident that they were already looking for ways to scale in the event that Ethereum 2.0 wasn't successful in reducing fees and the fees on their current platform were becoming a barrier or a problem for the existing clientele base. She dropped the names of Polkadot and Loopring when it came to Brad's inquiry about how they would scale moving forward. Currently, they're in a position where they just want to sit back and watch things unfold. But the point I'm trying to drive home is that even with a decentralized project it's important to have somebody like this involved in the ecosystem currently you can see what the protocol integrations are they're integrated with oasis ox kyber uniswap they've also integrated with other protocols in the background and they're thinking about integrating synthetics sometime in the future this way fund managers can get exposure to legacy assets like stocks i also like the fact that they're open source and they thought deeply about composability by working closely with other DeFi protocol teams they can really leverage all all the innovation that's currently occurring to quickly adopt technologies to improve the current services they offer and also to expand on them. Despite being very optimistic about the project, I haven't made a decision to invest. Given the current market structure, I think there's a possibility that we may be correcting in the next couple weeks. So most likely what I'll do is I'll monitor the price for the next month or two. And if we get a nice retracement, there's a chance that I'll go ahead and open a position in this token. If you guys enjoyed my insights and you guys wanted to connect with me directly through my Patreon, you can gain access to my private Discord channel where I talk about moves that I'm making, tokens that I'm researching, and liquidity mining opportunities that I'm participating in. Not only that, but you also get a subscription to my Substack. You'll be sent out weekly newsletters and much, much more. But this on its own is valued at $10. So if you guys go ahead and join the Patreon, you guys will get this alongside your Patreon benefits. And if you guys end up picking up one of the upper tiers, you'll be able to have a dialogue with me. I often tell people it's like hiring an industry analyst. This way, if you guys have any thoughts or ideas that you want to go ahead and run by me, I can do all the research and get back to you guys with my perspective. If you guys wanted to sign up for this, make sure to check out the description box below and click the Patreon link. With that being said, this is Crypto One Step signing out. I'll talk to you folks next time. Bye.